Mike in Kennesaw, Georgia writes to me and he says, Hey Paul, when a turntable features three outputs, USB, line level, and phono, and a computer is used to rip vinyl to a WAV file, my question is, is there a difference in the number of times the analog signal from the cartridge is converted to digital, depending on which output is connected to the computer? i.e., is the USB output sending to the computer the results of the turntable's ADC, then the computer's DAC converts it back to analog through the USB audio codec, then it gets converted back to digital wave, etc., by the recording software. <laughs> so you've made this really complicated. Or is it as simple as the USB? Yeah, it's, it's that simple. So, <laughs> um, but you know, I, I'm sorry, I, I don't mean, I'm not laughing at you. I, I'm laughing because all this can sound so overwhelming and complicated. We hear all these terms, these ADCs and USB and, and computers and how does it get in here and how does it do all that? And it, it can be very confusing. So let's just go through the chain real simply. A USB turntable has an ADC, an analog to digital converter inside of it. And it also has a phono preamplifier. So if we remember in some of our discussions before, all phono turntables have to have a amplification system with a very heavy dose of EQ inside of that. And that's all done in analog in order to get the record straightened out because we have what's called the RIAA curve, which um, basically on the record reduces the bass and increases the highs by about 40 dB. Okay, so um, we need to redo that. We need to reduce the highs and bring up the bass when we amplify the signal from the phono cartridge. So you've got a phono preamplifier, this big EQ circuit in there. That's all in the analog domain. Once that's all straightened out, and that's one of your outputs, which is analog, the phono out, then it goes into an analog to digital converter. And that's where we take that analog signal, we convert it into the WAV file, as, as you describe it. And it may or may not be a WAV, but we're not going to get into all that. Okay, so now let's just say it's in a WAV file. It's now going to go through the universal serial bus, the USB, which is just a data link that has a driver, a software component on the computer that says, aha, I know what that is. That's an audio signal. It's a digital audio signal and I know what to do with it. And that driver, if you've ever seen, you yeah, might have to download this driver in order to, to hook into there. That driver says, gotcha, know what you are and I'm gonna put you over here. Right, And so now when you play it, it's going to route that digital signal. We're still all digital. And it's going to put it onto a hard drive. And once it comes off that hard drive, uh, then it's going to do whatever it does. So that whole process from the ADC into the computer and then back out is all digital. So no worries. And you can run that through as many times as you want without a problem because, again, it's all digital. Only when we want to hear it does it go through a digital to analog converter or a DAC. So I think you're going to be okay. All right. Hope that helped. Um, and, and good luck with all that.